Soto sa ibalong sentro. Williams gets the first bucket to fall between Enlex and Barangay Ginebra. Coach, we have to do a little quick scouting report. Yeah. Kaya out of bounds. Tama. <laughs> Disallowed. Tony Bishop going inside, finishing strong. Coach, we were talking about Tony Bishop a bit off air in right, the lead up to right. this. You have experience with him in terms of how he practices. And sabi mo, he is a player that plays so much better in game. Definitely a game player. No, sa practice will you will not see the entire potential that he has. But in the game, definitely a better and uh, a better player that you will see. Number five, L.A. Tenorio. Number nine, Scotty Thompson. Number ten, John Pinto. Number eleven, Stanley Pringle. Number ten, Sean Anthony. Number thirteen, DeAndre Williams Baldwin. Number 22, Jake Pasquale. Arguably one of the better defensive teams in this league. A quick double shown to Robert Bolick. Shifting it around now. Sean Anthony given time. Space in the elbow. That's what Sean Anthony's offensive game really is. The mid-range, which, which extends all the way outside the two-point line. Well, hindi lang si Valdez yung may breakout game doon. Pati si Richie Roger. Pati itong si uh, Nermal. Yeah. We're double-digit scorers for the Road Warriors, as you can see and uh, remember. Wala si BGR, wala itong si Nieto, at wala rin si Kevin Anas. Those are three critical parts in the rotation of Coach Rankin. Christian Stan Harding are getting a few more looks and another two points to his name after defeat from Scotty Thompson yet oh, again. 76% wow. from the two-point line, but only 48% from the 50-foot line. And Enoch Valdez, so confident inside attacking. It's just a one-point lead for Barangay Ginebra. That super athlete versus super athlete against one another. But of course, uh, giving uh, away a bit of size here, it don't see Valdez, but it doesn't matter to him. Stanley Pringle testing the rookie to turn around. Got a bit of space, got into spin and gets two. 10 points in 22 minutes. Williams uses the pick. That was a great pick and it's a foul and one. <laughs> I thought that that thing was wide open, but more than that, he'll get to the line for a bonus free throw. Definitely, mas comfortable already dito sa kanyang second game. They still have high hopes for this game, lalo na without the rookies have been stepping up. So para sa team, they have to limit Nebra and force them to take uncomfortable shots. Alex's plate will be full today, so let's see how they will respond. A headway in terms of uh, offensive production, laban kay Scotty Thompson. Oh, and the good find there from Robert Bolick. He's such a great playmaker. Scott E. Thompson being hounded by Miranda. Maverick Misi making his first appearance in this game. Working on Rob, working on Richie Roger. And Another. the fight! Oh! Ooh. Tony Bishop! Right place, right time, delivered straight to his hands. Two things went right for Hinebra. The timing of the pass by Scott e. Thompson and the activity of Tony Bishop was now 11 first quarter points. That's nearly 50% of their total output. Talk about masakit ang tuhod, parang ayos naman. Looking good, feeling good, but then NX Road Warriors score three back. Slowly getting there, but yung, yung rebounding ang kailangan niya iangat at yung rim protection as well. And once again, Bolik setting up a teammate. Ooh, Ooh and Robert Bolik just flipped that up and got the two to fall, but did he get it off on time? Uh, there it is, confirmation 29-23. Still in favor of Barangay Ginebra. Ahan Misi, tough shot, tough, tough shot. Look. Oh, but he gets it to go as time expires. Lead once more. Barangay Nebra coach off to a good start here. Oh, no doubt. Very hard from the field. One so far para sa Road Warriors. Eri Tenorio, now to Ahan Misi. Ahan Misi, the drive, the step back, the jumper is good. And Maverick Ahan Misi is off to a good start here in this game. Points off the bench, always very important. That's why itong si Ahan Misi, only playing his second game for Barangay Ginebra off the bench, by the way. They had just uh, 28 bench points last time they won compared to 40 for Northport. Oh, Japheth Galar with the erasure. Again, that's actually an important part, Coach, uh, that you mentioned a while ago, that kung wala si Scotty Thompson to defend the Robert Bollick, Robert Bollick will go on the attack as Ahan Misi pulls up for three again. Wow. Nick matters into his own hands here, but take a look at this first. The feed from Eddie Tenorio on the run. Vaughn did not play in their previous outing, talking about uh, yeah, itong si Pesomal, who's only playing his sixth game out of the 11 matches para sa Barangay in terms of advantage. A 6-4 player who can put the ball down on the floor, get to his spot. Deadly talaga yan. Bata pa hanggang ngayon. Mahusay talaga. Williams swings that around to Semarad. 
gets set to fall from the corner. Pibe angat ang laban. Christian Stan Hardinger. Lost it again. Here's Valdez running the break. Sails in for two. I see Stan having a hard time navigating the floor against. As we saw Enoch Valdez a while ago just finding way to do things like that. The combination of Sean Anthony on defense and Valdez on offense has okay. been seen Scotty Thompson for about seven minutes already. So let's see whether or not uh, there that is something of concern here. Wow. As Jamie Malonzo. Given that uh, it has a very short front line, Itong, uh, and next surprise that so far they have taken away that strength para sa Ginebra. And it's Sean Anthony who goes in for two to make it a four-point game once more. 45-41 is the count. Jamie Malonzo has been showing that he's a threat from the perimeter. Tony Bishop inside. Can't swing that in. Jamie Malonzo could not get the put back. But Tony Bishop again. Wow. Third time's a charm. 11 for Bishop. Yung kukuha ng mga ganyang klaseng possessions para hindi na makuhanan ng paulit-ulit ng uh, Road Warriors as Bishop take it strong against Samira. Robert Bolik swing it around to Anthony pull up three that's good really a natural small forward also in double figures first basket here in the second quarter para kay DeAndre Williams as the local flavor has uh, really cooked well para dito sa Road Warriors dito sa ating pangalawang quarter 47-46 here as Christian San Hardinger, no, that's he, been a shot all day. He needed that. So the opportunity happening. Hindi pwedeng pag nangyari, doon ka na maghahanda. Mentally, physically, these guys are already Stanley Pringle now. Off the dribble. Oh, the half step and the finish. That is signature. Stanley Pringle. Ashana Anthony is just a pillar on defense. Nerma left wide open. Oh, fakes out Stan Hardinger. Moves to the side, but it looks like it'll be a goal tent against Jamie Malonzo. Now it is Robert Bolle quarterbacking again, calling for a horn set here. Now asking for a pick straight away from Williams. Showing a quick double. Williams going inside, gets an easy two. Scotty Thompson swings it around to Jamie Malonzo. All of a sudden, Barangay Hinebra having to do the task of trying to find the answers. Christian Stan Hardinger playing Tony Bishop inside, and that's much better. He did when Scotty was seated on the bench. Williams swinging around to Semera. He has one three there. He now has two and he from now the was, same spot. He now has eight third quarter points. He started the quarter 54-52. Barely three and a half minutes gone. Alex has ten points. He never has four. Bishop trying to find Stan Hardinger. Wow. And Stan Hardinger hung on long enough. I'm going to see Jamie Malonzo. But nice guy Nebra finding Tony Bishop nice the pass. side step and the finish. That's why I said it was a nice cool pass coming from Alonso. Good momentum play for Tony Bishop getting into the shaded area and scoring on points inside the paint for the Gin Kings. Armanzi Sean Anthony trying to find Williams. Gets just a bit of space and that's enough. Just finds a way to score. Good challenge coming from Jamie Malonzo. Scotty Thompson almost lost the leather here. Benicke, Christian San Hardinger, who finds Scotty Thompson on the drive. Right here in the third quarter. Let's take a look at this again. Scotty was saying that was a goal tent. His adjustments are almost legendary, but then it's been NLEX, all NLEX here in the third quarter. They hardly miss here in the third, and that's why they have scored nearly 30 points for the second consecutive quarter. But this was against Nermal. The size advantage, coach. Literal, Nermal was at the shoulder of Christian Stan Hardinger. Hindi mo makita siguro yan. Christian Stan Hardinger. Little spin move, finding Scotty Thompson inside. The extra pass, Jamie Malonzo gets two. Three touches underneath. Well, take a look at this. One, two, and two more for Jamie Malonzo. Ends up hitting the rim. Williams, size advantage for him. Behind the back dribble. Basket and one. In his previous uh, match for NLEX. At alam mo, coach, he does not force the issue. Talking about si Williams. Mawatak maglaro. Oh, oh. talagang dadahan-dahanin ka. So that was definitely a two-for-one opportunity. Robert Pollick. Finding Roger. Open for three. Richie oh. Roger rattles in and out. Still have time. Ahan Misi. Now to Stan Hardinger. Pull-up jumper from the free oh, throw line. That. And that's good. Just in the nick of time. 
Well, Barangay Ginebra needed a little jolt in the arm, and Christian Stan Hardinger provided that at the end of the buzzer. Stan Hardinger for two. Numbers advantage para sa Barangay Ginebra. Japet feeds it to the corner. Now it's Pinto, first shot of the game for him, wow. and he gets a three. Maverick was a spark off the bench. Pinto late entry, no problem. The mask man, the mask marauder, knocking in a three ball, a main weapon of Inebran offense tonight. Williams, Richie Rogers, size advantage against L.A. Denorio. He's comfortable in this type of situation. The turn and the finish. Right, so to all of our Kababayas watching overseas, hello, thank you very much for joining us. To those in Paris, bonjour, bon seigneur. And bonjour to Richie Roger, who gets another two in. Williams. And a block there from Bishop, but it falls into the hands of the NX Road Warriors, who will lose out on that anyway, due to shot clock violation. Earlier, Williams forced a turnover against Tony Bishop. Now Bishop with good individual defense, completing the defensive stop. 86-81, and Lex Road Warriors still with the lead, but Barangay Hinebra with a lot of time. 8.37 left here in the fourth. Yan yung mga apat yung mga puntos na kalamangan na napakahirap pabulin, ano? Japet Aguilar using his body, using his strength. Okay, here Richie Rogers, Stanley Pringle right in front of him, showing a quick double there. Sean Anthony getting away, but swatted away by Bishop. On Misi to Pringle, Pringle with the finish. That's a rare transition basket for Hinebra here in the final two quarters. Scoring in the blink of an eye, Barangay Hinebra. Now Stanley Pringle again to return the lead to the Jin Kings. Four consecutive points. And let's see whether or not they can continue that here. But they need to really impose their defensive uh, intensities. They gave up 59 points in the last 24 minutes. Almost another turnover there. Putin on the and Scotty. And Scotty will try to get his first field goal. Wala pa rin. And Scotty now has some defending to do against Valdez, and Valdez gets two. Four straight points. Returns a two-point lead here for the Road Warriors. Barangay Hinebra, Anisi quarterbacking, gives it to Stanley Pringle. Three guard set up here, if you consider Anisi a guard. Stanley, or no, Semarad, Miguel Tony Bishop, Bishop, Bill Fake, Stanley Pringle. Gets wow. the three to go. Take a look at this again. And Valdez. For a team that really loves to dominate inside. And that is a huge part of the game of Barangay Hinebra. Robert Bolick trying to go in. Another miss there for Robert. But then it is the import. Williams getting another two. That's where the difference lies. Second chance earlier for Bishop could not convert. This time Williams will not be denied. For a three-point lead for Lex. 19 already for the NX Road Warriors in terms of second chance points. Now, where can Barangay Hinebra get their offense consistently? Ahan Misi attacking off the dribble, finds Bishop. Bishop goes in for two. Back to back turnovers from these teams. Rare mistake coming from uh, Valdez. I thought he was going to pass early. And left wide open because of the slip. Oh and on Misi with the big triple. For Barangay Hinebra. There's this crucial slip there from Anthony. And on Misi. Lamang ang Barangay Hinebra by two. As Bishop finds San Hardinger inside, the little fake gives him a four point lead. That's why you have to move on to the next play as quick as possible and not be caught up in the moment. And the Bishop attack quickly and Stan Hardinger close to the rim, unstoppable. And he's that deep. Four point lead for Hinebra with a big fourth quarter surge. Bolik showing a quick double, wide open in the corner. Semara gets that to fall. And he has been a weapon from the corner. Bala three of four. Four of five. It looks Anthony Semara as he takes a look at Christian Sen. Working on Anthony. They get the switch and Anthony almost got the turnover. Three seconds on the shot clock. Bishop pulls up. A big three-pointer for Tony Bishop. 101 to 97. They have to be quick here. Talking about Enlex. Semerad has it. They give it to Bolik. Bolik attacks. Bolik. Great find. And Enlex still alive in this one. And remember, coach, free throws were an issue, but Williams with the flush here. Great feed from Robert Bolik. Yes, exactly. With this uh, excellent defensive stop. And that final stop will seal the deal and cement this win for Barangay Hinebra. We'll be returning to Manila with a twice-to-beat edge.